What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Amazing news, the iOS 10.2 jailbreak is already available. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 10.2 on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So let's jump right into it. So Luca Tedesco has done it again guys. Earlier this week he released an update to his Yalu jailbreak which will support iOS 10.2. Incredible news guys, super excited for this. Now I do have to say that this jailbreak is still in beta form so you may experience some bugs or issues with the jailbreak not working occasionally so just be wary of that. It is smoother than the previous betas but it does still have some issues that will be ironed out so just a heads up on that. Also just like the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, this jailbreak is semi untethered. Basically what that means is that you will need to boot your device device into jailbreak mode after every reboot, so just another heads up on that. Not a huge issue for a jailbreak, but just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware. So this jailbreak works on iOS 10.2, 10.1.1, 10.1, and iOS 10. As of now, I have iOS 10.2 installed here on my iPhone 6S, as you guys can see right there, 10.2, so I can't wait to get this jailbroken. As of now, this method only works on the iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and iPad Pro, so yes, there is not iPhone 7 support at this time unfortunately that's why I'm gonna be doing the guide on my 6s if you are on iOS 10.2 on iPhone 7 you will need to wait for further developments and a stable release there is an iOS 10.1.1 release for iPhone 7 out there but I would stay away from that because if it fails you will need to upgrade and you will lose the ability to jailbreak so it is better just to wait until the stable release comes around 32-bit devices are also not supported so if you have an iPhone 5 or below iPad 4 or below or the iPod touch 5 or below Unfortunately, this will not work. Anyway, that's everything to clear up, so let's jump into how to jailbreak. So you will need a computer for this method. It doesn't matter if the computer is a Mac, a Linux machine, or a Windows machine. I'm going to be doing this on my Mac right here, and you will need to do a few downloads. First things first, you will need to download the jailbreak, the Yalu jailbreak IPA file from the link in the description. I've downloaded it here on my desktop right here, and this is the actual jailbreak itself from Luca Tedesco, so you are going to need to download that. You will also need to download Cydia Impactor, which is from Sorek, the developer of Cydia. I've already downloaded this, and I will have the link down there in the description as well. Also, outside of this, you just need to make sure that you do have an Apple ID, and I'm sure if you have an iPhone, you already have an Apple ID. It does not matter if it's your own Apple ID or a new Apple ID. Both will work. And you also need to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes, which I've already made sure on my Mac here. So now this is easy, guys. Just go ahead and plug in your device via USB cable to your computer. I've already done that with my 6S here. And open up Cydia Impactor. As you guys can see, I already have it open here on my computer. If you want to, you can back up your data so you don't lose anything. I'm doing this on my backup device, so I'm not worried about that. So now all you need to do, guys, is simply drag the IPA over Cydia Impactor just like this and you will get a little pop-up asking you for your login information for your Apple ID. You are gonna go ahead and enter your Apple ID username and your password here. Don't worry guys, it's just a one-time only thing. It's just to sign the IPA so it can load onto your device here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and be right back. Now, once you actually enter your password, you're gonna go ahead and click OK, and you will see a bunch of little scrolling here on the screen, totally normal. That's what's supposed to happen, and it will sign the IPA and load it onto your device here. You will see it pop up on my device here in a few seconds. As you guys can see, right there is the Yalu jailbreak. I'll get this into focus. Absolutely excited for this, guys. Yalu 10.2 jailbreak. So now we need to trust this profile on our iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. To do that, all you need to do is go into Settings, go into General, scroll all the way to the bottom, click Profiles and Device Management, Go ahead and click your username that you used for your Apple ID, click trust twice, and then go to the home screen. You will be able to actually open up the application here, guys. Now you may get this pop-up, just go ahead and click OK, and then go ahead and click go. It will start to jailbreak your device, guys. Now just wait for it to be done. This is jailbreaking your device right now. It may take a few seconds or a couple minutes, I'm just gonna wait this one out and come back. So as you guys can see, my device is respringing here. I'll come back in a second. So I just resprung, guys, go here, and as you guys can see, Cydia is right there on my home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here, guys. Absolutely awesome, you may get this pop-up as well. Cydia may slow down your phone, but I can't believe this is working. Absolutely awesome, iOS 10.2 jailbreak. You can see that all of these sources here are going to be updated soon. Can't wait to start using this, guys, full-time. Really, really awesome. So that's how you jailbreak your device using Yalu, guys. Hopefully you guys are just 
just as pumped as I am. You now have a jailbroken iOS 10.2 device. Enjoy it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there for more videos from the Macintosh Review and like this jailbreak video to spread the word for those looking at jailbreak. I'll also have my social networks down there in the description to keep in touch with me. So check those out along with my other links in the description. And thanks for watching guys. As always, stay awesome and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.